Hello everyone. Today we are going to design a short square column subjected to combined axial loading and biaxial bending. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design the reinforcement in a short column 400 mm into 400 mm at the corner of a multi story building. So the size of the square column D is given as 400 mm to support an axial factored load of 1500 kN. The factored load PU is given in kN. We can convert that into Newton together with biaxial moments of 50 kN meter acting in perpendicular planes. Both of the moments MUX and MUY are given in kN meter. We can convert them into Newton millimeter. Adopt M20 grade concrete and FE 415 bars. FCK is 20 and FI is 415. Let us assume D dash is equal to 40 millimeter. Since this column is a square column, we can easily design by finding the equivalent moment. The formula is 1.15 root of MUX square plus MUY square. We know that MUX and MUY are same. Both of them are 50. For MU, we will get 81.32 kN meter. Now we are going to find the non-dimensional parameters. Let us find D dash upon D. We will get 0 0.1. Let us open SP16 chart number 44. I have selected this chart because our FI is 415. D dash upon D is 0 0.1. And I am going to distribute the reinforcement equally on the four sides. From the chart, we can write these two expressions. We can apply all of the values so that we will get these. Now using these two values, we can find P upon FCK. When we draw the horizontal line using this value and when we draw the vertical line using this value, both of them intersect in this point. In this point, there is the curve 0 0.06. So P upon FCK is 0 0.06. We know the value of FCK 20. So for P, we will get 1.2%. For the percent of steel, we have got 1.2. Using that, we can find the area of the steel. Let us find the gross area. When we multiply the side with the side, we will get the gross area. 1.2 upon 100 into gross area we will get the area of the steel. Then we can use a trial and error method. I have used 8 numbers of 18 millimeter diameter bars. When we do that, I am getting an area approximately equal to this area. The provided area is different from the required area. So the value of P will change. Let us find that the provided area upon the gross area into 100 we will get the correct percent which is 1.27. So P upon FCK will be 0 0.063. We know the values of PU upon FCK and PU upon FCK BD. Using both of them, we can find MUX zone upon FCK BD square. Let us open the chart 44 one more time. Using this value, we can draw a horizontal line. We have the curve 0 0.06. The line should pass 0 0.06 and we have to extend a little more because 0 0.063 is more than 0 0.06. Now we can make a vertical line. This point is near to 0 0.07 but it is not exactly 0 0.07. Little before that, in this case we can assume that it is 0 0.069. In this way we can find MUX1. We will get the value in Newton millimeter. Then we can divide that by 10 power 6 so that we will get in kN meter. We can approximately take it as 88 kN meter. We know that in this square column 
MUX1 and MUY1 are same. We know that the gross area will be equal to the area of the concrete plus the area of the steel. So the area of the concrete will be AG minus ASC. We know both of the values. Let us apply them. So for AC, we will get this. Let us open this code book, page number 71. Let us write this equation. In this equation, let us apply all of the values so that for PUZ, we will get 2055 kN. Let us find PU upon PUZ. For that, we will get 0 0.73. For PU upon PUZ, we have got 0 0.73. For that, we have to find alpha n. When PU upon PUZ is 0 0.2, alpha n can be taken as 1. When PU upon PUZ is 0 0.8, alpha n can be taken as 2. To find for 0 0.73, we can use interpolation, the smallest value plus the bigger value minus the smaller value 0 0.8 minus 0 0.2 into the value for which we have to find alpha n that is 0 0.73 minus 0 0.2 in this way for alpha n we will get 1.88 now in this equation we have found everything let us apply the values when we calculate it we will get 0 0.69 which is less than 1 so the section is safe under biaxial bending. Now we can design the diameter of the lateral ties and pitch as in the previous videos. Let us keep the diameter of the lateral ties as 8 mm in the spacing of 280 mm. Here you can see the cross section. Now we are going to end the session. Thank you for watching this video.